way to tell if we're live. <laughs> well, let's see. If they go to it says 30%, 60%. Okay, so I think we're live. Yep, we're live. There we go. How's it going, everybody? This is Silver Husky. Uh, we are live, and I'm going to get some lighting going on here. Uh, a couple really cool things to talk about today. Uh, I went to the local coin shop and um, ran into my buddy Guido again. Uh, guys, we have something really cool going on on Friday between me and him. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a collaboration. He's going to teach me how to pour, which is awesome. Mad Stacker, what's going on, buddy? Welcome to the chat. You are first, and here I am talking to myself like a crazy person. But I do welcome you to the chat. Good to see you. Uh, Neophyte Stacker and Archaeology Mikey, how's it going? <laughs> Second and third. Uh, it's great to see all of you guys. Um, Silver is running. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's take a look at the medals real quick. Let me open up. Um, what do you guys use to check the spot price? I know there's so many different websites. Um, I like JM Boolean for the the ease of the graphics. Uh, however, I will say that uh, it's not always the most accurate. Uh, look at that. It's up a dollar six per JM Boolean's. Um, Hey, does your LCS buy poured silver? Yes, they do, and they sell poured silver too. Uh, if anyone brings them in, they will sell it. They wow, look at that, boom, right? So we're looking at twenty six twenty something, right? Uh, and then here you got a the low was twenty six eleven, and right now the high is at twenty seven forty ish, right? Twenty seven forty and some change. That's pretty awesome. Uh, twenty seven forty six right now. That's pretty awesome. So I'm excited about that. Let's see what gold's doing. Gold's kind of on the same bump, which is great. Nice for a Wednesday. It will get smacked down tomorrow, I'm sure, going into Friday and make it a nice cheap weekend for anybody who wants to purchase. Uh, we're at 70, what, 71 and some change for the gold to silver ratio, which is kind of cool. Uh, Kitco and Coinflation. Each website has different silver prices. I know, it's so crazy, right? I like Coinflation too. Um, my LCS guy, Gary, he goes by some other site. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it was like, I don't know, Market Now or something like that. But um, anyways, have some fun things to talk to you guys about today. Uh, Neophyte Stacker says, wow, mine hates it. They hate verifying it, selling and buying it. I hate my LCS. Neophyte, where are you located out of, man? Let me make sure I don't move there. Hopefully you're not going to say North Carolina because that's where we're going to eventually move. But um, yeah, Neophyte Stacker hates his LCS. Uh, totally not excited about a run, uh, Mad Stacker says. Uh, my guess is Mad Stacker wants to buy something. I think I saw in his last video he was talking about uh, spot price coming back down, or he bought his uh, nice Mad Hatter piece uh, when silver spot price was still low, and he wants it to go back down so he can accumulate more. Uh, if you guys aren't following Mad Stacker, make sure you check out his channel. Uh, he is in the earlier phases of his stacking and has done really well so far. Uh, but obviously when you're in the early phases, you want to accumulate as much as possible. So there he goes. He says, because I have no plan to sell, but I want to buy. Yeah, and that's when you want to do it, when it's cheap. So Neophyte Stacker says, Southern Cali. Uh, what part? I actually uh, lived on Camp Pendleton for a while. Um, I'm not sure how the LCSs work out there, but that really stinks if they're not buying poured silver. Armando from the vault, good to see you, buddy. Uh, we're just uh, getting into the show, getting getting ready to talk about some of my pickups and some other things, which will be fun. Um, Archaeology Mikey says, I want silver to stay low in the 20s. You know, I'm good with that. I'm good with uh, low silver. I mean, it can even drop back down to 15 or so, uh, but only for a few more months, right? I want to see it spike up real big uh, in the maybe in the winter time. I don't know. I think September is going to be a big month for silver. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of how I feel. It's kind of the end of fiscal year, September, October, and uh, that's when things typically shift. We also have the election coming up, so I think coming out of the election, things are going to shift as well, so it might keep that train rolling. So who knows? I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, Bazinga says you're at 199, Mad Stacker. Me too. San Bernardino County near International Stacker. Yeah, San Bernardino is nice, man. That's out in the desert. Um, I can't remember where IS said he was from, but yeah, I like that part of California. I actually like uh, like Fallbrook. Fallbrook is really nice, uh, even though that's like North County, San Diego, but beautiful area. Love avocados. Uh, so I want to show you, I'm going to go through a couple of my pickups from today. 
Uh, again, uh, anybody popping into the chat right now, please hit the like button. Take two seconds and do that real quick. Buffett's gold purchase. Everyone will follow. LOL. Uh, the presidential election depends on who wins, uh, and they will make silver prices to drop. Yeah, I don't think who I don't think who wins matters at this point. <laughs> Archaeology, Mikey. This might just be my own opinion showing, but uh, I do believe silver is going to go crazy no matter who gets elected. It's more of a factor of uh, how soon it will happen. Where in one case it might be a little bit of a slower run, and the other case it'll be a faster run. But either way, it's going to run. Uh, wow, almost 20, 20 p or two hundred, two hundred what? I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. So, anyways. Um, me too for silver price staying low. Stacking Silverman, welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Guys, again, don't forget to hit that like button. Sorry for the lagginess, guys. I really do need to up my internet speed. I was chatting with my wife about that today. and We're kind of on the fence to do it, not to do it, because we're getting ready to move here in the next couple of months. So it might just be uh, a waste of effort just for uh, a couple of live streams. But I don't know. In some cases, it might be worth it. Um, do you guys know what country this is from? It says... Firme y feliz por la unión. And it says un din. And I don't know what that means. I don't even know that denomination. But pretty cool piece. This one that I picked up for super cheap uh, at the LCS. And again, Gary, Gary's my boy. Gary loves me. He takes care of me. But uh, he gave me this at a really good price. Um, Neophyte Stacker says, Venezuelan Stacker, are you in Venezuela right now or U.S.? Venezuelan Stacker, good to see you, buddy. I was actually just having a one-on-one -on -one chat with Venezuelan Stacker a moment ago, and I'll show you why uh, here in a second. He's kind of my go-to for Venezuelan uh, coins and numismatics and things like that, but I also like to pick his brains about what's going on on his side of the world. He's in Argentina right now. Hope you don't mind me sharing that, brother. But uh, he's in Argentina right now. And, uh, you know, giving me some insight on how the silver and bullion markets work in uh, that part of the world. It's quite interesting, and it really helps me understand how lucky we really are uh, being here on this side of the world. So, uh, can I see the other side? Yeah, of course. The other side will tell you exactly where it's from. Uh, Republica Peruana Lima uh, 9 D Fino, whatever it says. That basically means it's 90% uh, silver. Uh, 1870 and this is a Peruvian uh, coin again I don't know that denomination uh, but then I got a little mini one this one I'll show you the other one first let's show you this one real quick again sorry for any choppiness or lagginess this was 1903 really nice condition on that guys I'm thinking about getting a, uh, a coin scope one of those little mini microscopes that go on the uh, on the desktop so you guys can see these coins in like way better definition and you don't have to see me holding it up and jiggling it around like a crazy person. Venezuelan Stacker says, left Venezuela five years ago escaping hyperinflation. Uh, yeah, awesome. Thank you, brother. Thank you for saying you love the channel. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys for being here. Uh, firme y feliz por la unión. And there's beautiful seated liberty. Uh, if you guys know, our seated liberty looks very much like this. And then this one is one half Dean. It looks like Dino. I don't know what that, uh, Dinero. Uh, that sounds weird. I didn't know there was a denomination of Dinero in Peru. I'll have to ask me. It looks almost proof finish. And I'm curious as to whether or not it would even make sense to maybe send this in for grading. It is the tiniest little piece. And I'm gonna show you how tiny it is. Um, again, just a beautiful coin. Great, great detail on that. And I would say this is definitely either AU or maybe even MS. But here it is compared with a dime. It is actually smaller than a dime. So that is a bitty, bitty little piece. But very nice either way. Anyways, got those from the LCS. Very cool. Um, Stacking Silverman says, I have one of those scopes. It's awesome. Works great. Awesome. I think I do want to pick one of those up. Um, and let's set those aside. So. Those are some of my pickups, right? Uh, I did get some generic. I got two generic pieces that I thought were pretty cool. This one's highly reflective, so I'll let you see the camera. I'm going to move out of the way so you don't see me. But you guys know I'm a sucker for Mercs, so this is my generic Mercury Dime, uh, at least the Mercury Dime image. And here on the other side is the reverse, so 999 fine silver, one ounce. 
I thought that was a pretty neat looking um, round. And then if you guys know this lady, uh, that is Lady Liberty, the flowing hair. This is the coveted of the coveted uh, American dollar coins. And this is not a real one, obviously. This one is just, uh, what's it called? A, um, a reproduction on one ounce of 999 silver. So this is, uh, this is a bullion uh, junk generic coin, but I like it. Not junk, generic coin. I'm your 200th sub, Mad Stacker. Good job, buddy. Glad to see you getting up there, man. Uh, Archaeology Mikey says, I bought a grab bag from Saca Plata uh, bucket of coins and got nine mercury dimes and two barber dimes and a couple of foreign silver and wheat cents. That's awesome, man. Mad Stacker says, I'm maxed out on speed. Wish I could go higher. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I need to do that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Jonathan Reese, good to see you, man. Welcome to the chat. Uh, what do we got? Just traded away a Merc one ounce just like that. Really? What'd you get for it? Jonathan Reese, love to hear it. Um, hey there, your resident cartoonist has arrived. Hi Vanessa, welcome resident cartoonist. Uh, I like to doodle too, but I'm not that good. <laughs> Jonathan Reese says, I have a one ounce copper version of this. Oh, that's cool. I like this one. I think it's really pretty and I do like the, uh, the, the eagle on the back. I like that old Americana artwork. I think it looks pretty cool. Neophyte Stacker, you win 22 videos and enjoy your leisure. <laughs> to enjoy at your leisure. Thank you, Mad Stacker. Guys, Mad Stacker has a great channel. Make sure you check him out. Anyone trading silver to gold yet? 70 to 72, 71 to 72 gold to silver ratio ain't too bad. Neophyte Stacker, I'll give you my thoughts on that. I'm about halfway ready, right? I think 35 to 1 is right about where I'm looking to, uh, to swap. Even if I see it get below 50, I'm going to start like, you know, transitioning chunks of my silver pile but when it's at 35 to 1 for sure I'm all in on gold uh, I'm not there yet so Mad Stacker says waiting on 50 that's awesome uh, let's see lol they better be good content creation is flipping hard yes it is I try to put out one video a day today you guys are getting a live stream because I was actually working on something that I'm going to be dropping tomorrow, a nice collaboration with a prepper. Now, I don't know if you guys like any of the uh, prepper videos, but I have a really cool prepper video. Uh, a buddy of mine, his name is Sarge, right? So this is Prepping with Sarge, if you guys have checked out his channel. Uh, and if you haven't, check him out. But he's a good buddy of mine. We kind of communicated a little bit back and forth and decided to do a little collaboration. We're both interviewing each other. So we put that together, and that's already uploaded and ready to go. It'll be dropping at 3.30 tomorrow. Hope you guys can check that one out, and you guys are going to love it. Um, let's see. Vanessa said, would we be able to see some of your said doodles? Huh. <laughs> I would have to dig them out of boxes in the garage. Um yeah, I don't know. Like I, I've got some doodles, and they're they're literally doodles. They're not phenomenal. They're nothing great. I can do a really cool coin rubbing. That'll be fun. All you have to do is you take one of these and you put like a little piece of paper on top, and you just scribble with a crayon, and a beautiful coin rubbing will come out of that. I can do that for sure. Uh, let's see. Archaeology Mikey says I got my 800 supporter grand prize giveaway win from Far North Coins and it's two Alaskan Land of the Midnight Sun silver rounds. My first two ounce silver round. That is awesome, man. That is a heck of a prize, too. Um, let's see. I think 50 GSR happens in the next 10 years. I don't know, man. I think it'll be sooner than that. I think 50 GSR is going to happen a lot sooner. Uh, you're waiting on 60 to 1 to trade for more silver and gold. Uh, trade more silver for gold. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go lower than 60. I, I don't think I'll do it at 60. I'll get really anxious right around 50. But you see me at 40, I'm gonna start moving some of it, and then 35, it's all going. Uh, I wanted that coin. Hey, Jay Reese, nice piece, LOL. Uh, Silver and Gold Spartan, good to see you. Welcome to the chat. Uh, I've been thinking about trading some of my silver for gold, haven't made my mind up yet. Hey, you know, stacking Silverman, do whatever's gonna make you happy. Uh, I think that that's the most important thing when it comes to stacking silver and collecting pieces, anything like that. If, if it's exciting to you and you feel confident and good about it, do it. Don't ever feel any regret. Don't ever kick your own butt. And don't play the uh, wish I woulda, coulda, shoulda game. Uh, just, just do what you like, right? Uh, and, you know, haters gonna hate. There's always gonna be that thought in the back of your mind, man, I shoulda waited, or man, I shoulda moved on it. 
that's okay, man. It's all good. Uh, Vanessa says, I just draw dumb cartoons as well as animate stupid cartoons. I, I li I'd like to go pro. Oh, I'd like to go pro. Not go pro like the camera, but she would like to go pro. You know, Vanessa, I support you. I think that doodling is hard, and I don't think you doodle. You, you probably have some beautiful drawings in our downplaying uh, your artistic ability, so uh, I think you probably do some really nice stuff. Jonathan Reese says, I made a silver to gold trade a couple weeks ago. I uh, got some nice pieces and got three Maple Grams and Assay card and one Mar Monarch Precious Metals Gold Gram uh, and a $2.50 Gold Indian. Nice. This is the Balboa that I picked up. Um, I've not yet had one or held one before, but I thought this was in beautiful shape. I don't know. I think these are probably kind of common, but I did like it. And if you guys remember, I had a little mini Balboa before. Uh, yeah, it might still be up here. Let me see. My wife probably doesn't like that I keep all of these coins just up by the computer. She's probably like, I need my computer back. Oh yeah, here's the baby. Baby Balboa. Baby Balboa. Do 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 do. All right, and then you got big Balboa. Right, so the the reverse is very different. One has a shield with a eagle on it and all kinds of cool stuff. The other one's got a pretty lady holding. Uh, oh yeah, she's holding that. Um, what's the word for that, guys? How do you call that axe made of reeds? There's a word for it. I quizzed a couple people on my uh, one of my videos, and I already I think it's a fasci or fasci, fasci something like that. <laughs> Archaeology, Mikey said I can draw landscapes and animals. Um, I can do the, like the horizon. That's a pretty easy one. Having a lot of gold would make me really happy. Stacking Silverman, you and me both, man. Um, yeah. And watch the silver and gold prices before trading silver to gold. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Archaeology Mikey. It's important to, to watch that. Very nice coin. They're not too common. That one I would grade a VF. Uh, okay, Vanessa. So as a VF, what would uh, what would you what would you say that something like this is worth? I'll tell you guys, I, I'll tell you straight up. I paid um, probably 20, 20 for this. I think it was 20. I paid 20 for this, right? That sounds right. I, I'll go through the rest of what I got here in a second. But I picked up this one. Uh, the other piece I picked up was uh, that beauty right there, Cinco Pesos. This is 90% from 1948 from Mexico. It's beautiful. Java Man, welcome. I don't think I said hi to you yet. Uh, good to see you in the chat. Guys, please take a second to hit that like button. I would love to uh, beat the algorithm and have a, have one video, just one video, one video that maybe goes viral. It probably won't be this one unless I happen to find something in these rolls that I'm going to pick out here in just a second, but I don't think I'll find anything too crazy in them. Uh, let's see, fasces, yeah, fasces. It, that word kind of freaks me out, fasces, right? I'm seeing it in the chat right now. Uh, because it, it rhymes a lot, or it sounds very similar to feces, which is very different from a fasces, unless you're using a fasces to cut up some feces, which would be really weird. And hopefully you guys aren't clicking off my channel for saying that. Uh, I know that that's kind of awkward, but... Anyways, it's a beautiful Mexican flag, or Mexican flag, Mexican emblem. This is the eagle killing a serpent on top of a cactus, on top of a rock, way out in the middle of Lake... Lake whatever, Lake Mexico, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so silver and gold Spartan says it's about a thirty to thirty-five dollar um, coin. Yeah, I'm getting the same from everybody else. This one was also right around twenty bucks. So paid twenty, paid twenty. So that was a pretty stinking good deal. Actually, I think it was a little less. I don't know because I I got these two. All right, so set those aside. Those two, and then I also picked up um, these two, which I want to show you one by one. Uh, they're pretty awesome. So these are the 64s. I needed one more to complete a roll, and that's it. And this is, guys, this is the first and second 1964 Kennedy that I've ever purchased. I normally get all of my 1964s from coin roll hunting, right, or hitting up banks and stuff like that. And this is this will be the completion of my sixth roll, but I had to buy one because I haven't been to banks in a long time. They don't really have anything right now. But I want to show you that. Look at that mirror or rainbow toning at the top. It's like a little bit of a brownish, looks pretty cool. Uh, Mexican silver, thumbs up, says Java Man. I drew Arctic wolf and a Hawaiian sea turtle and cats and exotic birds and Egyptian pyramids, ocean view from the cliffs. Awesome, man. Mad Stacker, I thought 
I already had you. I'm, uh, I'm sure now. Awesome. David Carlisle, welcome to the chat, and thank you for subbing. Mad Stacker, he's good people. Silver Trooper says, I pop in, and you're talking about poop. Yeah, Silver Pooper. I mean, Silver Trooper, <laughs> I am talking about poop. If you lived in my house, you would know that that is a normal topic of conversation between me and my children. I think that uh, that was probably their first word. Uh, <laughs> found mine in my backyard. Really? That's cool. David, David, hey, hey everyone. Yep, awesome. Uh, fascist comes from the word fasces. Oh, see? There's my nugget for the day. I didn't, and we're not talking about poop right now, but there's my nugget from the day from Vanessa. Nugget for the day is the word fascist comes from fasces. Okay, so we're going to go with fasces. I'm assuming that is the correct uh, pronunciation of the word. I bought a 10 ounce Mexican or 10% Mexican silver in 1966 with die crack for three dollars. Awesome. Uh, coin roll hunting is dead, says Java Man. Yeah, it kind of is right now. Unfortunately, sad about that. I'm gonna pour out some uh, some liquor for them. Pour out a Corona for them. Uh, I think I'm the only person in the stacking community ever who doesn't care for toning. That, that's no. There's actually a lot of people who don't care about toning, right? Uh, this is the other side of it. It has some again. So let's get that focus. Give me some focus. Come on. I know you can do it. Focus. There we go. Again, a little bit of cool toning. Uh, you know, toning is what toning is. There's nothing special about it. You can artificially uh, tone a coin. Neophyte says, dip that coin. LOL. Yeah, rub it off with a, uh, what's it called? With a Brillo pad. It'll come right out, right? That'd be funny. Uh, the Mexican coin I found in my backyard. That's awesome, man. I don't know how. I, I don't think I'd ever find a Mexican coin in my backyard. Um, blasphemy. And never clean a coin, says Jonathan Reese. See, differing opinions. Maybe Vanessa will be moving to Florida soon. I'm addicted to toners. Awesome. Let's let's look at the other toner. I think the other toner is actually nicer. Um, so let's give you the obverse real quick. This one, nothing too special. It just has a ring around it, right? A little bit of that rainbow up on the upper edge. You can see it. But I really like the other side, and I'm really hoping the lighting captures it correctly. And sometimes it's really, you need the outside lighting to see what it really looks like. Uh, gold and Silver Spartan, or Silver and Gold Spartan says, I don't care about it, but I guess they're starting to grow on me for toning. You know, when I started, I didn't really like uh, toning myself either. Uh, but now I'm like learning to appreciate some of the cool colors yeah see that doesn't even look right that just looks brown but if you guys looked at it it looks copper like it has like the shiniest copper tone to it uh, but it's it's actually it's a beautiful beautiful color I just need some sunlight so unfortunately you guys don't get to see it in all of its glory I wish that you did that's unfortunate uh, the logic for the the logic for that is the Mussolini thought that all of the Italian people were all bound together uh, all one much like a fasces. Oh, nice. Fasces is a Roman symbol. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. See? More education. Thank you guys for educating me and for educating my viewers. I really appreciate that. Crafty Dragon says, Howdy, folks. How's it going? Crafty Dragon, good to see you. Armando from the Vault just got a box of quarters and found two W Salt River Bathe. Getting lucky. Awesome. So we're going to get into that in just a second. So Armando from the Vault is right on the same wavelength as me. Toning is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> this is true. Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beer holder, right? Uh, I like toned coins. They're beautiful. Hey, Armando. Hello, Crafty. I'm just catching up with the chat, guys. I love toners a lot, but if I got to pay more, then I don't buy. Got to keep the dollar cost average. Venezuelan Stacker, you are correct, and I did not pay any more for these. I cherry-picked these based off of the way they looked, and who knows? Maybe uh, maybe I might, I might sell one of these or auction one of them off. If I had a choice, I'd go with the ones that have the pretty toning. If I don't have a choice, I go with the ones that looks in the best condition. So one of these is going to complete my stack, and the other one's just going to, you know, stay in a flip and, and look really cool. So let's go ahead and put them back from whence they came. I love my my coin dealer. He's he gives me the coolest deal. So uh, again, guys, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, again, I appreciate having every one of you in the chat. Some of my pickups from the day. What I wanted to show you guys, and, and Venezuelan Stacker's in the chat, right? And I was picking his brains earlier because while I was at the LCS, and yes, again, I ran into Guido Stacking. He was at the LCS dropping coin, and that man's got some killer deals coming. So make sure you follow him on both Instagram and on YouTube so you guys can get in on some of his awesome deals. He's got some really good stuff coming, guys. So check him out. We'll be doing a little bit of a collab later on. Um, 
this week actually later on this week I don't know if it's gonna drop this week though but I wanted to show you well, let's do this real quick so again we get, we're looking at the charts and you're looking at uh, the gold to silver ratio here silver is up gold is up but here's what I sent to Venezuelan stacker I want you guys to see this uh, this is just a beauty right here um, and I wish I could there I can zoom in more very nice look at that so this was again at Gary's shop got this cool ring in the bezel and this is a Venezuelan uh, Simon Bolivar Libertador right he's the liberator um, liberator of Venezuela and it's just so high relief and I unfortunately did not take a picture of the other side and it's not a coin it's a metal right so I don't know that one side is I guess this would be the obverse because it does have uh, you know an, an effigy on, on one side of Simon Bolivar but uh, on the other side was a really cool image as well. I think it was uh, one of their buildings, one of their state buildings or something like that. Uh, but beautiful image and uh, Gary is going to be doing some research on this for me and then giving me a good deal on it. But I thought it just looked amazing. This looks like it's been in somebody's drawer for quite some time. Uh, and yeah, it's a nice little piece of history. I have another piece that's very similar to this too. And I was picking Venezuelan stackers uh, brain about this coin and about other stuff having to do with what's going on in Venezuela right now. Guys, if you don't know, uh, so he is not in Venezuela at the moment and he left for good reason. They were going through a currency crisis. Their government was doing all kinds of weird stuff with their money and with their gold and things like that. So people are in dire straits. People that were doctors and lawyers, etc., flee the country. And I mean, even my mom was telling me that if you go to Peru, it's full of Venezuelans. Many of them are, you know, very well to do in their country or were well to do in their country and they're having to take the, the very low end jobs because there's nothing for them, right? They, they left their country with nothing. So all the more reason to stack, right? All the more reason to understand the value behind wealth preservation. Uh, so I, I learned from what other people go through in their countries and I think it's a very good, uh, good reason to do that. But yeah, so guys, you like the Deerfield Beach Cam? Uh, I'm a sucker for this as well. I'll give you guys a couple seconds of viewing the beach that's near my house. I love this place. Um, this is from today at, what is this? Right now. Yeah, this is live. So <laughs> 826 at 349. This is the beach that's uh, not far from my place, and I, I do love it. Is that person? Oh, I thought it was a person doing a downward dog or something. That is not. Okay, so what do we got? Are you in Buenos Aires? Um, I want a Balboa, says Mad Stacker. Hey, I'll sell it to you, man. Coinstar find, Java Man says, a 1964 quarter in mint condition. That is awesome. Very cool. Uh, I do love Coinstar finds. To me, those are some of the best things that you can get because it is free. Um, so I, I probably found about 4 or $5 worth of silver uh, Coinstar hunting. Are you stalk, stalking Guido Stacking or is he stalking you? Uh, I don't know, man. I think we're on the same like wavelength that every time I go to the coin shop, he is legit there. Uh, if, if, he's, if he's there before me, then that's one thing. And then half the time, the other half of the time, I'm there before him and he walks in. So kind of crazy. But yeah, Guido's good people. He's just the coolest, most down-to-earth guy. We had a great conversation today. He was kind of telling me about you know, how he got into what he's doing and things like that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I find most of the auction bids are way too high. So Java, I, I want to say that the, the thing about auctions, those are entertainment. Right, and people are paying for the entertainment and the thrill of you know getting that bid in, or you know sometimes they do end of stream giveaways for the people who bid, uh, and that's cool stuff. So again, if it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. If you're looking for you know your dollar cost average and you're going for the you know the the best bang for your buck, then yeah, there are definitely other methods to do it. But that to me is is purely entertainment, and I I do love a good show. So I will pop in for the show, uh, but of course you know I always support them. Every now and then there's a piece actually on Spegs. Uh, show the other day. I I wanted to bid so bad. Uh, he had a Russian three ruble, and if you guys don't know, um, the the Russian three rubles are so hard to find in the U.S. So if you ever find one and it's you know maybe like ten or fifteen bucks over spot, 
that's a steal and you should get it because you can always flip those things for more uh, in the right audience, right? So you gotta have, have people that are actually looking for it. But because Russia hangs on to most of their stuff, you don't see stuff leaving Russia too often, not silver or gold and things like that. So that stuff's hard to find. Um, I love them uh, and I wanted to bid on one, but I, I couldn't get my bid in for some reason, it was weird. Uh, let's see what we got. Archaeology Mikey. Uh, you kids think that every day is hump day. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have so many kids. Um, and the young want socialism. Yeah, that's not good, man. I, I don't agree with socialism. Uh, not to get political. I won't give. I'll, I'll drop that one. It's Wednesday, and Wednesday is hump day. Uh, if it was uh, Pisces using a fasces to cut the feces. <laughs> Mad stacker. You're a nuts, man. Venezuelan Stacker, what's the Instagram of your seller to and to follow him? So his his name is Guido Stacking, right? Guido Stacking, G U I D O. Um, I've got two thousand in halves to hunt through, dude. That is awesome, man. That's four boxes. Let me know what you find, bro. I uh, found a 1983 copper variety scent, and there was supposed to be zinc, and zinc is 2.5 percent copper, and 3.5 uh, and is 3.5. And 1983, 84 have copper varieties. I look for 84D. Cool. Uh, I guess you didn't get the joke. Wasn't very funny, anyways. David Carlyle. Uh, what was the joke? You kids think that every day is. I got your joke, David Carlyle. I got gotcha. you. I'm on the same wavelength, buddy. Uh, Adam Stacks, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Here we go again with the Russian stuff. Silver Trooper. Easy, man. <laughs> I like Russian coins. Leave me alone. Um, sorry, is worth almost a thousand dollars for the 1984 D copper variety. Uh, Adam, sup? What's happening? Driving and listening. Dove season is good to see you, man. I think you're always driving, man. You drive? Uh, you drive for work? Is that is that what that is? Let's take a look at the beach real quick. Look at that. Boom. Beautiful beach. I bet you guys, if you guys like fishing, you guys would love fishing off this pier. It's a good place to fish. You see some big tarpon and uh, barracudas go by all the time. Uh, J3 says, I don't like socialism. Yeah, me neither. Uh, it's Wednesday, my dude. Gonna have to find 84 copper penny. All right, what's the silver percentage of a Balboa? So uh, my understanding was this is a 90% Balboa. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I'll bring it back to the camera. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so right here, lay 0.9, right? And grams 26.73. So that was a 1931 90% Balboa. She looks good, man. I like her heat. Let's call him heat. She looks good. He looks good. Miss Standing Liberty with the fascies. Sorry. Fascies. Fascies. she wearing heels? No. I think she's got six toes. That's cool. I don't know, I, th I think having a six toe would, would help you with swimming and stuff, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, okay, so onward to the next topic, right? Let's move all this stuff aside. So these are my pickups today from the LCS. Guys, if you're just getting into the chat, please hit that like button. I would love to uh, beat the algorithm. Um, and you know what? If, if you guys like auctions and would like to bid on something, put a one in the chat. I think that would be... Uh, pretty interesting to see because I've never done an auction but I wouldn't be opposed to auctioning something right uh, I think that'd be an interesting uh, fun thing to do uh, let's see archaeology Mike says yeah I know Jonathan I had a 1984 D cent that weighed 3.1 which is weird but they're not the right amount of copper variety how are you doing silver husky neophyte stacker uh, good to see you man flipping between live feed and your camera sorry I'm super new uh, can't even edit my YouTube header. It's all good, man. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, Java Man says one. Just got a hundred dollar face, a hundred face value in halves. Awesome. Jonathan Reese says he does trades. Awesome. You know what? I I like the concept of trades, but the problem I see with trades is just based off of shipping, you're losing, right? You're losing money on on shipping. And I usually don't buy too many multiples of anything, so I don't really have. Uh, desire to, to trade because usually what I have is I like it right now I like keeping it in my stack but I do understand that that concept there uh, trades can be cool but I picked up five rolls of quarters right These five rolls are probably very choppy on your end uh, but in my end they're rolling really smoothly and pretty so uh, with that said I also picked up 
a bunch of, I picked up $100 worth of dimes. Problem with the dimes, right? And this is, this made me so sad. Uh, when I looked at them, uh, I can't see this one. Nope, nope, here. I don't think you'd be able to see it, but they're all 2020s. Unfortunately, every, here, maybe this one. Can you see 2020 right there in that corner? These are all 2020s. So I have, what is this? $100 worth of 2020 dimes that I don't know what to do with. I'll probably take them back because I don't think the 2020 P's have any uh, variety to them or anything like that. Maybe I'll open one later just to just to see if I find any errors. I had a lot of good luck with the back quarters. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, so as you guys know from the bank the other day, I did pick up a few rolls of quarters that were all back quarters. Thankfully, these are not all back quarters. These have some older ones in them. Look at that, right? We don't know what that is. It's a 2019. Is it a W? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So, uh, Archaeology Mikey says, Silver Husky, be careful buying uh, Lear 20 Italian coins because I bought one when I was in Italy. It turned out to be a counterfeit. Ugh. Okay, I'll stay away from Italians. Uh, Italian coins. I do like Italians. They're cool people. Uh, Budget Bullion Stacker, welcome to the chat. Good to see you. I watch to learn, says Crafty Dragon. Okay. So I'll tell you what, let's, we're going to crack one of these open live. This is the one with the lady, right? Uh, I don't remember what this one is called, but we're going to see what she is, right? And then we'll go through this, this roll. And if we find some good stuff, maybe we'll go through the whole roll. And, uh, and if not, then, hey, I just wasted, you know, a certain amount of your time. But I do appreciate you guys being in the chat, all, you know, all seven of you. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I'm just kidding. I know there's more than seven. But... All right, what'll it be? I see a whole lot of clad. But hey, that doesn't mean we won't find a W in here somewhere, right? So let's uh, let's see what we got. We'll go through these quickly, right? I don't see any need to spend an entire lifetime on these. All right, that was a P. Old lady was a P. All right, nothing special. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to get a bunch of nopes here. Oh, here's something. 2019. All right, this is the River of No Return. That's a P. <laughs> it's all good. I don't mind it being a P. I'm just uh, looking for the sake of looking. Oh, there's a Bicentennial. That's cool. You guys collect Bicentennials? I set this one aside. I don't, I don't know if you guys collect those or not. Here's a 2020 P also. Uh, I'll see if it has any errors, anything obvious on it. I don't see anything. This must have been one of the early ones that were minted. Sometimes you can spot them from a mile away. They're the errors. But I don't see anything on this one. I'll check it later. I'll set it aside. Those. So, guys, for anybody who didn't catch my live stream the other day, um, I found one crap ton of, uh, of errors on those 2020 bats, which kind of blew my mind. I didn't know there were so many errors. Um, let's see, gonna pick up a nickel box Thursday, been a while. Last box from the bank had a V nickel, wow. Plus 72 dimes, really? That's crazy, you definitely have W's if they're all uncirculated. Um, been to the doctor today and mows my yard, now I'm chilling with Jonathan Reese. Nice, hmm. There are W's in that uh, roll 100%. Okay, so Adam Stacks is certain that there's W's uh, in this roll. Uh, let's see, last time it rained uh, too much. That's a bust. No, I'm not through the roll yet, though. Give me a little bit. Uh, would have been so hesitant to open that roll. I don't like opening rolls. <laughs> why, why is that? I love opening rolls. I have one bicentennial quarter, but that's it. Silver Husky, do you eBay, do you do eBay eBucks much? I don't. I don't. Uh, just picked up a gold rooster below spot. Holy cow. I like those gold rooster, roosters. They need to get uh, need to get a hand scope uh, like you have, Husky. Uh, I look for errors to it. So I don't, uh, yeah, that my little hand scope, guys, just so you guys know, this is my little hand scope. Uh, I got it for, it still has a dollar on it. One W, right? That was a dollar at, um, at the thrift shop. And it's super simple. You just put that in there and 
you hit the little light and you line it up perfectly and you can see it's a pain in the butt this way but yeah anyways you can kind of see stuff but that's how I look for errors uh, this one also looks like let's see that's a 2017 nothing special with that one um, we'll go through these quick 2016 88 I don't know you guys think I'll find anything in this my wife's probably like you're crazy why do you keep getting quarters and taking them back in I'm sure the bank probably thinks I'm psychotic he gets them and he brings them back I usually take them to different banks though so it's all good uh, have the W minted quarters gone down in value uh, you know I've always heard it said that a coin is only worth what somebody's willing to pay so if people are paying less for them then I suppose yeah yeah they would look at this quarter isn't that a beauty this one actually was in a shipwreck and then got eaten by the Kraken and uh, and now we have it right so that's interesting uh, let's see so for those of you who are just listening in because I know there's some people who are potentially driving um, drive safely and thank you for tuning in we're just going through a couple of quarters seeing if we can find anything that may be worthy of keeping or you know looking a little bit deeper into here's a 2013 with a big old schnoz on it so uh, bicentennial quarter with extra drum details in MS condition is worth some money. I'll have to find out what that extra drum details is because I don't think I've seen that. Um, and yes, American Omnist, it is very handy, uh, although my neck hurts after a while because you have to like basically lay on your table to see it. Uh, I keep my rolls together and love seeing it together. Uh, it gives you that tempted to open feeling. Now I get it, but I want to see what's inside too. Uh, stop most eBay bullion purchase is not a fan of sales tax. What's up stacker ink scars? Welcome to the chat ink scars guys. He is uh, he's the one who seems to somehow always win my giveaway So very cool of him to join us. We thank you so much uh, Didn't come to the beach down here right now. Don't come to the beach down Oh, you must be in Texas Matt stacker if you're talking about not coming to the beach. All right here. We got a You guys know this one, right? I think this is called Weir farm or something like that um, I don't know. Anyways, nope, that's a P. Sorry to let down. That was a P. Uh, 2019 W quarters. Some of the designs have less value. The 2020 W quarters are worth some money. Hey, Mad, nope, no beaches for me right now. I'll never get something you don't like or want because you end up keeping it. <laughs> that is so true. Um, yeah, he, he's won twice. Sorry, I was just messing with you guys. He's won two of my giveaways. This is a very nice condition. Look at that. 2019. This is the San Antonio Missions. And it is a P. I don't know. Are there any errors on these ones? On the 2019 San Antonio? It looks great though. Great condition. Alright, so that's one roll. One roll gone through. And again, I will double check for any errors on a couple of the other, the other coins. Let's see. Next roll, right? Oh, here's this. You guys like this shipwreck coin? This was literally in a Kraken. Just kidding. All right. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Open in the next one. Java Man says, on beach right now, will a LCS buy W quarters? I think that depends on your LCS. If they know that they can get money for them on eBay, they may actually buy them. Um, and here is my beach for those of you who are talking about beaches um, that's actually me walking on the beach this is me when I had long hair um, you know the gentleman that's that's just going home so this is a kind of like a replay but uh, but yeah so anyways and next roll Depends on the condition for the coins of the value. Got my haunted pumpkin patch antique proof yesterday. Nice. Oh, this one has some shiny ones. I wonder if any of those are 2019 or 2020. That'd be cool to see. Let's find out, shall we? Right, let me get a stack of these. Let's see what we got. Hold on one second. I got the kids being crazy real quick. Ninos. I'm live streaming, guys. That's cool. My kids have a lot of fun. Sometimes we have to tell them to contain their joy. 
so <laughs> 1967 um, what else we got oh here's the oh no that's the that's what's his name Bob Ross or something like that he's painting oh Frederick Douglass I'm sorry <laughs> just my haunted pumpkin patch I think. okay so after the storms would be perfect time to go to the beach I would think yeah I would imagine so too right you can probably uh, find some cool stuff metal detecting that's when I usually go right here's a 2020 bat Again, I hang on to these because I want to check them for errors. I only get 2020 P's because I'm on the east, east Coast, and that's kind of all we get out here. So I've not even seen the 2020 D yet. Um, but yeah, here's here's another, here's one, 2019 Lowell. Lowell. That's a P. I'll check her for errors too. Why not? Right? Why not? Um... 2017 military dude shooting at stuff. This is George Rogers Clark. Not sure who that is. He looks kind of tough. I like him. <laughs> Ink scars. LOL. Your happiness is too loud, says Dad. Yes. Please refrain from being so joyous at this moment in time. Um, Silver Husky Coin Scope app told me about the counterfeit coin. Okay, that's something to keep uh, keep track of. Then I'm in California right next to the beach. Nice. So, Mr. Uh, J3, have you ever been to a Florida beach? And if you have, how do you compare it to a California beach? I've been to both, and I want to give my uh, biased opinion. Runaway beach umbrellas. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Going through these. Nada. Nothing. Nope, negative, nine, negatron, nope, nope, and nope. So nothing special on these. What do you guys think? You guys think I'll find a, a W? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Guys, let's do a, uh, let's do a giveaway. You guys like giveaways? I don't know. Put a one in the chat if you think I should. I think that'll be fun. So, um, I'm going to do, I guess, it has this way. Check the Delaware quarter with the horse on the back. It has a spinning horse error. Okay. Delaware quarter. Does that have the horse spitting? He doesn't look like he's spitting. Caesar Rodney is not no. spitting. No. Bummer, dude. Um, let's see. Okay, we got a bunch of ones. That's good. All right. Do you uh, do these live lives count towards your total watched hours? Mad Stacker, they do once they post, right? So I think it takes like two days for them to post or something like that. Or depending on how long the stream is, it can take longer. Um, but yeah, they do. They do. That's how you get your watch hours up. So guys, uh, if any of you guys are content creators, that there's uh, there's almost like like accomplishments you have to achieve to be able to monetize your channel and the first one is you have to have a thousand subs so as you guys know I'm not quite at a thousand subs I think I'm like 850 something so I'm getting there right getting there which is gonna be awesome because we'll do a really cool giveaway uh, but yeah a thousand subs and you have to have 4,000 watch hours which is actually a lot that's that's I mean for somebody like Rob finds treasure he probably gets 4,000 in like the first two hours of posting a video but for me, that's that's a lot harder, right? It's a lot harder with a lot smaller uh, subscribership, but um, but yeah. Anyway, so let's go back to the the topic at hand. Um, let's let's take it to a vote, right? So we have one of these or one of these, right? Now put a let's put a C in the chat if you would like one of these Canadians. And look at that luster. So illustrious. It's a 1959, right? A C in the chat if we should do this one, or an A in the chat if we should do this one, right? This is the barber dime. So, what do you guys think? A or C? A for America. America, you maybe put an M, but A is fine. Or C for O Canada. O Crabida. There we go. 
Okay, we got a C. A C. So C is winning so far. There's another A. 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 Okay, I think A is winning. Everybody likes the barber. Okay, so we'll go with the barber. 4,000 watch hours is the equivalent of 166 days. Dark Green Marine, how you doing, buddy? Hoorah, good to see you, man. Guys, make sure you check out Dark Green Marine, too. He's a good friend of mine uh, and a, a fellow veteran from the Marine Corps. Uh, I was not quite dark green. I'm, I'm more like a medium tone green, uh, maybe like a forest green. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's how we call each other. Um, in the Marine Corps, there's no there's no races. You are just green. You're just different shades of green. So that's, that's what we are. Uh, but yeah, anyways, a lot of A's. So I think we're going to go with that. Jimmy Lacari, good to see you, buddy. Jimmy, you've been on a streak, man. I've seen you winning like in everyone's channel, which is kind of awesome. Um, let's see. Volksworks Garage, awesome, good to see you, welcome to the chat. And so, we're going to do a little trivia. What you're going to see is you're going to see something pop up in the chat. And when it pops up in the chat, you be the third one to get the correct answer. And the reason I go with third one is because it gives everybody an opportunity to receive it first, because I know some people have higher internet speeds than others. And we're going to go by whatever I see in my chat first. And whatever I see in my chat first is what counts, right? So you might see it first in your chat, and that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Thank you, my dear. Uh, that doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're right. It just means it popped up on your feed first. But I have to go by mine. That's the standard, right? So trivia question. Um, hmm. Okay, here it is. Here it is. It's coming. It's coming to you. And uh, in this trivia question, yes, you can go to Google for it if you want. Uh, and anyone is eligible to win, even if you're in another country. I'll find a way to get it to you. Don't worry, because uh, it's it's just a dime. It's not it's not too heavy. So here it comes. All right, give me one second. I got to type it out. It's kind of long. All right, here it comes. Boom. Archaeology Mikey says, I've been winning gauze on small channels and not on the big ones like Rob Fryan's Treasure. You know, the reason is because there's like 8 million people that watch those feeds. So you're like uh, a little fish in a huge pond versus here. You're just like any other fish in a very tiny pond. Uh, you have a very, very... Uh... Okay, we got black sea bass. We got toothfish. Uh, Toluva. Patagonian toothfish and toothfish okay so I will take toothfish right it is a Patagonian toothfish uh, the other the other would be I believe it's a codfish as well so I'm gonna go by uh, it's not black sea bass toothfish is correct I'll take that Patagonian toothfish that's the second one uh, that's from Silver Trooper and then toothfish ink scars see I tell you man ink scars what's up with you bro Ink scars always win, so that's the third right answer, right? So we have dark green marine came in first. Patagonian toothfish is that's the correct, the full correct term. Silver trooper, uh, and then the ink scars got it right as well. So you're number three. So ink scars, I got your info already. <laughs> you're, you, you're funny, man, because you're just killing it on these uh, on these giveaways. But I want to show you guys something that I got today. Uh, my wife just came home with a awesome ink pad for me. So it's super cool. Anybody who wins one of my giveaways is, I'm gonna set these aside, wins one of my giveaways is going to get a little stamp mark. Uh, and I'll show you what that stamp mark is real quick. This is my first time testing it out because she literally just got home, but here we go. So, boom. So you're gonna get the sticker, obviously, but your envelope is gonna have this somewhere on it. I'll probably have to angle it so that it's carving out the bullion, precious metals, and numismatics, because I don't want anyone breaking into your envelope. But I thought it looked pretty cool. That is a huge ink pad, too. So huge shout out to, uh, I'll call her Wifey Husky, I guess. She's awesome, um, always has been, but extra awesome every day. It gets better and better. Uh, so let's bring these quarters back. So again, ink scars, killing it man i don't know what's up with you you should probably like play the lotto or go to vegas or something actually don't don't take my advice that's that's very bad advice don't go to vegas <laughs> that'd be very bad so let me write your name real quick 
I got a little green husky here with me. Say hi. Hi. She's making weird noises. I don't know. That's <laughs> not what she normally sounds like. No. She she is she is weird. Uh, weird. She has a very pleasant voice. She sings in the shower. So No, I don't. If you're gonna stand here I'll embarrass you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She does. She sings, um, what do you sing? You sing The Greatest Showman in the shower. I don't sing it. I listen to it, but I don't sing it. She sings it. She's like, this is the greatest show. Okay. Um, if you guys haven't seen The Greatest Showman, it is an awesome movie. Make sure you check it out. Cool. So, back to Zikwatas. Um... I have a few channels that remembers my shipping information. Archaeology Mikey, I got it in my email, so I can always just, uh, if if I've sent anybody something, I can always find it in my email, so it's easy. Uh, congrats, Ink Scars. Darn, I need my own stamp and stickers, LOL. Uh, yeah, it's a process, man. You get one thing, you get the next thing, and eventually you got a bunch of stuff, and you're like, geez, what am I going to do with all this? Uh, i got to run. Adam Stacks, good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Silver Horde, good to see you. Welcome to the chat. Billy P, I don't think I said hi to you yet, so please uh, accept my apologies, but hello, welcome to the chat. Um, who else do we have? Who have I not said? Eve Wrights. Yes, I didn't say hi to Eve Wrights. Good to see you too. And Numistacking. I don't think I said hi to Numistacking. Guys, 27 in the chat. Holy cow. Thank you guys for being here. You guys could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're on your phones with me. That's not a hint, by the way. <laughs> it's not a hint to run. But uh, but I do appreciate having you guys. Wow, this is the ugliest weir farm. Look at that for a 2020. Somebody swallowed this and it came out the wrong end. Um, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, please don't be a W. <laughs> I'd be so sad if I had a W come out looking like that. That is crazy. Uh, take care. Just wanted to pop in and show some love. Hey, thank you so much for the like. I appreciate you, Billy P. Uh, nothing special. Oh, here's here's a 2019, and this is also in great condition. Let's see what she is. What is it? It is a. Come on, focus. P. I'm like a toddler. Uh, nope and nope. These are all nopes. So we'll set the nopes aside, and I'll stack those back up later. And I have a few more. I'm going to open up. All right. Silver Husky, you should check out the 1976D DDO quarters. They're worth a few hundred dollars in AU condition and more in mint. So if I find one, let me know. I don't even know. If, I don't know. I may have passed one already, but who knows? Going back to SPRK. Oh, work. <laughs> Sorry. Going back to work, by Hey, Silver and Gold Spartan, I do appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Um, check out the Leaking Bucket Variety and the Snow Roof on the Homestead Quarter. Okay. I have to check all those. 2019. The Guam 2019 is my favorite. All right. Your role... Sorry. Jonathan Reese, your roles ever show up? Uh, it's got to be the worst weir farm I've ever seen. Yes, that is the record of the worst weir farm we have ever seen on this channel. And here's another 2019P. This is a uh, little home girl at the uh, American Memorial Park. That is the Guam one, right? I think that's the one you were talking about. Maybe I'm wrong. Mariana Island, sorry. So just going through a few of these. Sorry if it doesn't render on the camera. I'm just really quickly scanning for the interest of time. Um, and there's so many errors that I probably don't even know about. I might even be passing some up right now as we speak. Here's the 2019. This is the Lowell. And she is... Oh! Oh! Look at that! Guys, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Lowell. Show me the dub. Boom! W. I got me a W. And she's not pretty. She's scratched up. But she's probably worth a couple bucks. So that ain't too bad. That's a nice W. Got one. Got one. Yes. All worth it, guys. Kind of. <laughs> I'm happy with that, though. I can't complain. I wasn't expecting to find I really was not expecting to find a W. So that's kind of cool. My favorite era of the state quarters are the 
Nevada Pooping Horse, really. I haven't seen that one. I do love the Nevada Quarters. Those are my favorite of all of the state quarters. They're the most beautiful, especially in proof condition. That Nevada is incredible. Uh, w says David Carlisle. So, all right, we got one W, guys. That means that there's hope. There's hope that there's more. What if I got like 10 of them? Uh, now I'm just being greedy. All right, so here is, this is a 2019 River of No Return. Come on, give me some. There we go. And now let's take a peek. That's a P. <laughs> All right, what else we got? I'm just being a brat now. I just got spoiled. This is a 2019, but I already saw the P on the other side. So that's not, it's not gonna work. Nothing. 65 one year off man you could have been from one year sooner 2014 how cool would that have been if it was a 65 that was silver right like a mistake coin one of those uh transition coins i think is what they call them um yeah those are super super cool uh, and super rare so guys uh if you're just tuning in uh, hmm, Nevada, I think the Hawaii Volcano is awesome in the 5 ounce. Oh, I bet it is, man. I bet it is awesome. Look for die crack errors on her nose on the W. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. We're going to look for a die crack error on her nose. So let's take a peek at this, see if I can even zoom in that much. I don't think I see a die crack, though. So this doesn't look like an error, but thank you for bringing that up. Definitely appreciate it. All Shiza, hopefully they show up. Fingers crossed for you, man. Hey, Stamos, welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Yeah, Numistakin, thank you for the tip. I don't see it though. I'm gonna, I'll probably look under the scope in a little bit. Tracking updated this morning. Email, okay. Grease, grease, gotta hear it. Da -da -da. Went through a ton of change last weekend and had a ton of 65 quarters. Yeah, that's the biggest bummer because they're like so close. It's like you're almost, almost got it, but you don't. That's sad, right? Okay, so there was that. All right, what do we got? 2017, nope. 2019, here's a 2019. Could this be another W? Could this be another W? Let's see. Is this? Nope, that is a P. Sadness ensues. <laughs> Sadness intensifies. Okay, so this one... This one almost looks like it's one of those like off-center punches, right? Like uh, you can see a lot more metal up here than on the bottom rim. I forget what that, that uh, it's not an error, but I forget what that's called when they just like off-center strike or whatever that is. Anything in five ounces is nice. Four nines fine silver, good to see you, man. I don't think I said hi to you yet. I don't know if you just popped in, but it is great to see you, my buddy. Um, let's see what the people in the chat are saying. Stuff from Slow Stacker never showed up. Don't know if he sent it or not. Slow Stacker always sends it, so I don't know if something could have been wrong there. Um, Silver Husky, when you look through the foreign silver at the coin store, 1953 20 cent Canadian silver has a DDR to look for. South American coins have a lot of errors and varieties to look for as well. Ah, that's a P. Meh. Okay, I'll set her aside anyways because I do like that it was an off-center strike. So I'm going to continue looking through these. Got a bunch of 2016s. Oh, there's a 2019. So very, very nice condition again on the San Antonio. And she is a P as well. Bummer. Hey, Ethan Bradley, good to see you, man. Uh, I'm actually just going through a bunch of quarters right now. We did find one W, which is awesome. I think uh, that's the highlight of my day, or one of the highlights of my day. Okay, here's another 2019. We're not finding too many 2020s in these uh, in these rolls, but that's no, not really a surprise. But let's see what this one is. Come on. Come on. I know you can focus. Ah, oh, you've let me down. You failed me, quarter. I'll hang on to you and I'll look for errors. 
So I have a small stack of coins that I'm going to go through, a small stack of quarters that I'm going to go through and look for errors. I'll set those right here. Uh, and then I did have, again, the, the one W right there. So that'll be what we look for in those. And I have two more rolls left, guys. So we're going to go through these two rolls. Hey, Kayla, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. What do we got? Bunch of shinies. So let's see. I get excited when I see a little bit of those newer coins. So let me just take a small stack, small sampling of those. 2017, 2017, 2015, 2017. Bunch of these 2017s. There's a 2019. Miss Lowell again, very nice, and that is a P. So we're not gonna, well, I'll check through her, see if there's anything special on that one. Oh, here's another 2019. Not the prettiest 2019, but hey, it'll do. How about the other side? It is a P. So that's negative. Nada, nada in those. All right, so I'll scrap these guys, put them aside. Maybe I'll take the kids out for ice cream with it. All right, what do we got, what do we got? I'll tell you what, if I find another W, I'm gonna give it away to somebody in this chat. So that first W is for me, right? That's the tax man's W. But if I find another one, I'll give it away, right? Because that's just a quarter. So here's here's a 2019. Unfortunately, it is a P. Poop. All right, P is for poop. <laughs> Hang out with me long enough, I'll rub off on you. All right, here's a 2019. Here's another 2019. And it's a P. Dark Green Marine, get the MS-70 or MS-69 if you want to save some money. Ink Scars, I know, it's awesome, one dollar face. Crappy Tim, good to see you. Crafty Dragon says hi, All right? Uh, LOL Husky Streaks. <laughs> yeah, if you see me doing the booty scoot. Right, you guys have dogs out there, you know what the booty scoot is. Uh, I might have to get it at 69 or 70, they're over $300. I might have missed what coin you guys were talking about, so I think I missed that. But, uh, but let's see. Okay, here's a 2020. Guys, this is your shot. Right, here it is. Come on, give me that. There we go. We are farm. 2020. Right? Is it a W. P. Bummer. Okay. All right, so that's another set. And then I still have one more roll after this one, guys. So let's go through this real quick. Mm-hmm. Nope. Nope, I got a bat. You guys like the bat quarters. I've been finding these suckers everywhere. So that's a cool, oh this one I think has the, nope it doesn't have the ear error. I don't know, this must have been from earlier on, it doesn't look like it has as many errors as the ones that that I had. I had rolls of errors, like 52 of them I think I found, 51 of them in four rolls of quarters, which is crazy. And this is a P, so this isn't it. And I got a call just as your call was starting. <laughs> Sorry Mad Stacker. Uh, you're the only channel I can watch right now. Why is that? I'm, probably because I'm on the only one on. Um, sorry. <laughs> I apologize in advance. I uh, wish that there were other people streaming right now so you wouldn't have to suffer through my laggy, choppy feed. But, uh, but hopefully it's not, it's not too unbearable. But here we got a 2019 San Antonio. Is it a W? Nope. That is a P. All right, uh, oh, here's a 2019. 
Here's a Weir Farm, 2019. Right? See, the odds are increasing, guys. And that's a P. Here's a bat. Right, right, we got the bat. And, you know, there's actually a, a bat error that was like no fur up here in the corner by that wing, by the baby bat's head. Uh, although I haven't seen it uh, myself, but I hear that that's an error coin. Uh, and that's a P. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Okay, and then there's that, and that, and that one's a 2018. Okay, so next roll, the next and final roll. What do we got here? These are, I don't know why those are here. I probably put them there. Okay, last roll, guys. Silver Husky, if you can find a coin pusher that doesn't have a timer, you should try it because you can find errors and proofs and W quarters in silver and possibly win silver coins and gold bars. That would be cool. So I was telling somebody, I don't know if it was Archaeology Mikey. Um, let's see, it's 4.32 p.m. here in Maryland. Yeah, it's uh, it's 4.33 here in uh, in Florida. Um, I'm actually from the D.C. area, so probably not too far from where you're at, Archaeology Mikey. Um, let's see. So what I was going to say is I was telling somebody that it would be a really cool concept if you owned a coin shop to just have a quarter pusher that was full of silver quarters and it's one of those that like you swipe your card and it gives you credits and you can click 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 and it would drop more silver quarters that are already in the quarter reserve and then you could cash out at the end and buy that much silver with it so i thought that would be a cool concept i don't know if anybody in the chat has a coin shop but i think that would be stinking awesome load it up with silver quarters and let people play and try to win them um bat ddr error yeah i'll be looking for that and i have seen um, you know some doubling on some of the coins before so I'll have to look for that uh, but yeah we'll, we'll see Alaska this one looks all like like it could be silver right but it's totally not it's definitely not but it's cool looking all right what do we got 2017 oh here's a bat 2020 wow that focused quickly that's rare and it's a P bummer Okay, I got a nice stack of 2018s or sorry, 2019s and 2020s. So let's uh, let's see what else we can find in here. No, oh, nothing special in those. Boop. All right, what do we got? It's okay, Silver Husky. It's just I've watched almost every coin video on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, well, Ethan, you know, I put out a new video every day, so aside from this live stream today, this will be my video for the day, but uh, normally I have one video drop every day. That's I've been very consistent with that. Look at this one. Guys, Virginia, my home state, they have the, the coolest, coolest coins. I like it. Look, President Washington was shot in the head with something gross and red. I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to touch it, but... We're going to keep looking. Oh, here's a Lowell. A Lady Lowell. I don't know what she's doing. She's making a baby Ferris wheel. Either that or she's like spinning some, some thread or cotton or something. But I don't know. That's Mrs. Lowell. Um, nope, nope. Nope, there's a bat. Found me a bat. in good condition and it is a P P is for poop phone's about to die I'll be back shortly ink scars you don't want to miss the giveaway you might win for the 25th time in a row guys it's not rigged I swear ink scars just has crazy good luck so what's this one we are farm 2020 that's a good looking coin too. Weir Farm. Eve Wright's good to see you, man. Sorry you gotta go, but I do appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. I have to switch to Verizon because T Mobile is terrible. I agree. I have T Mobile. They're the worst. And that's a P. Poop. Alright. And another stack. This is gonna be it for the coin roll hunting portion of the show. 
Oh, here's that one. So this is the one of the what is it? The you called it the pooping, the pooping Nevada quarter, the pooping horse. Which horse is pooping? Because I, I mean, you could argue that all of them are pooping. That one looks like it's pooping, right? But it's the other horse's foot. So the one in the front looks like it's pooping. Yeah, you're gonna have to let me know which horse is pooping. Kayla, good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. I'd be so mad if it dies during a go. <laughs> yeah, that would stink, man. But uh, but yeah, let me know. Let me know which one is the the pooping horse if you're still in the chat. I can't remember who it was that just said that it's on the Nevada quarter. So I'm gonna hang on to that. Set that one aside. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, the wilderness. No, what is this? Sorry, river of no return. Right. I think that's a lumber mill or something. Come on, give me a focus. There we go. All right. And it's a P. Uh, you're so lucky to find a W quarters. I'm lucky if I find a 2020 quarter. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, man. That uh, that happens. Um, hello, I'm back. What did I miss? Stack and Silverman, we found a Nevada quarter. I just don't know if it's a pooping horse or not because I don't know... Uh, which horse was it that was pooping or what it's supposed to look like so anyways 2019 boom P geez I got a nice stack of 2019s over here um, and what else nope and nope and there's a bat we got a little batty today okay and it's a P G golly williker. All right, here is a really ugly river of no return. Uh, it's got a lot of nastiness on it. Like maybe it was in a wishing well. I don't know. Uh, maybe it has an error. I don't know. Does that look like an error above the log? Oh no, that's a dude. That's not a log. Oh, it's a boat. Oh, it's a dude on a boat, and he's in the river of no return. Why did I think that that was like? A lumber mill and that was like a log floating it looked like a two by four floating in the river now that I'm actually seeing it I can see it's a dude with an oar on a boat in a rocky river yeah and you guys are watching my show this is giving all of you hope I hope <laughs> I love T-Mobile Verizon used to assault my wallet on a monthly basis for almost a grand yeah T-Mobile is uh, a lot cheaper they do have good deals, but where I live, it's not it's not good. W equals West Point Mint. Yes, that is true. W does equal West Point Mint. And nothing. And oh, here's a weir farm. How crazy would it be if this very last quarter was a W Mint marked quarter? I'd be very happy. So this is a weir farm, folks, for those of you just tuning in and welcome to the chat everybody here we go 2020 weir farm what is it it's a p well we didn't get completely skunked because we did get that one lol uh w mint mark no silver today though so I'll have to go through this little stack right here with my scope and see if there's any obvious errors in that one. And we have, of course, the uh, the potentially pooping horse from Nevada, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, but I wanted to do, uh, since we have 20, wow, 24 people. Thank you guys. Don't forget to hit uh, like, guys. Like and subscribe if you're not already. But I would love to do one little auction. Uh, and this is gonna be my very first, my very first auction ever in life. Uh, and I'm going to let you guys choose what you want to bid on. Um, I got a bunch of different stuff that I, that I well, let's, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's, let's talk about this. I'm, I'm only going to do one. <laughs> I'm only going to do one. 1911S Barber Quarter. Do I have a 1911S Barber Quarter? Potentially. I don't know. Um, maybe. I'll say maybe. In 1914. Okay, so let's let's do this. Here we go. Up. Oh, I'm making a mess. Leave it to me. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, all right. 
I'm going to let you guys take it to a vote. If I get more than three votes for any one of these, then that'll be the auction item. And you don't have to bid on it right now. You don't have to bid on it at all. But um, I'm going to have these. There we go. What's that? Six in a row. Number one is going to be a barber. So you put a number in the chat for whichever one you want me to auction off. 1914, no mint mark, right? So it's going to be a Philadelphia 1914 barber. Great detail on that, right? That looks awesome. All right, I think that looks amazing. Four nines, good to see you. Um, and good to see everybody, actually. It's really cool having 20 of you guys in the chat. Uh, then we have this uh, Swiss half a franc. Uh, with really cool toning for those of you that actually like toning this one has really cool toning on it so Swiss half a franc from 1951 that's gonna be number two uh, number three is this Cuban 1915 uh, I don't know the yes centavos so 10 cents from Cuba these are harder to find in the US they carry a premium a fractional portion of a Balboa right I showed this one earlier I believe and this one is 1961 from Panama. And his big brother is right here, right? That's the Balboa. But yeah, that's the Balboa. That's a cool one. Uh, number five from Great Britain. This is Our Lady Victoria, right? Queen Victoria. And she is from 18, this is an old one. 1897. Cool. And the very last one, number six, is King George. George of the Jungle. Right? And this is a King George from Canada, 10 cents, super old, 1919, with the old back, right? The old reverse to it. So, uh, anyways, Ethan, thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate you. So, pick one through six. If I get three votes for any one of them, then that'll be the item that I'm auctioning up. Uh, opening bid will be a penny. You know, I'm not even really trying to, you know, kill it on any of these. I just want to have some fun. So, um, and yeah, payment can be through either Cash App or PayPal or whatever. Uh, I'm pretty easy going with that. So, any any takers, Cuban and Panamanian are the are the same standard as U.S. Nice. Okay. Um, nice toning. Thank you. You should put your email in the page just in case people forget your email. Sure, I'll put my email in. Uh, let's do that right now. It's silverhusky12 at gmail.com. There you go. So for anybody who wants to email me, okay, so we got a bunch of votes for one. Uh, number five, number three, number six. Okay, five also got three votes. Okay, so number one, Two, three, four, five, and number five. So there we go. Number one and number five. I'll I'll do both, right? So starting bid for this one is one penny. Would anybody like a 1914 Barber Dime with a lot of detail for one penny? Do I get one penny? <laughs> Jonathan Reese says, doing all right. All right. I'm off for now, LOL. Ink Scar is good to see you, man. I do appreciate you stopping by. Guys, we have an auction going on right now for this beautiful 1914 Barber Dime. Starting bid is one penny. Five cents. Jonathan Reese got a nickel. A nickel for this Barber Dime. That's an awesome, awesome. Oh, we got another five cents. Okay, so Jonathan Reese has got the lead. Uh, by my count, I'm seeing five cents, Jonathan Reese. What else we got? Okay, uh, let's show this. Galactic Coin Stackers at $2. Uh, $2 Galactic Coin Stacker. Uh, we got 10 cents. Stack and Silverman, you've been outbid. $2. Okay, the opening, opening bid, or sorry, highest bid right now is $2. So from $2, do we have anything higher than $2? San Francisco minted Panama coins for years. Uh, the Balboas. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. So we did the Philippines too, I believe. Uh, Stamos says it's pizza time. Not sure what that means, but it's always pizza time in my house because my kids eat pizza rolls like it's going out of style. Stack and Silverman says three dollars. I have three dollars from Stack and Silverman, which is awesome. 
Hey, little silver husky, how you doing? <laughs> awesome. Okay, so Four Nines Fine Silver is giving a thumbs up to Stamos because he likes pizza too. Uh, Two dollars and one penny, but I got three dollars from Stacking Silverman, so that's taking the lead right now. Uh, Four dollars from Kayla. Kayla, you're awesome for that four dollar bid. Some people forget to tell the chat to make sure that everyone is on live chat and not on top chat. So let me refresh and make sure that. See, this is this is why I have somebody like Archaeology Mikey in here uh, because I need that reminder. Archaeology Mikey, thank you so much for being awesome. I do appreciate you. Um, okay, so I am on live chat. So. J3 says three dollars and one penny, right? But I got a four dollar from, uh, oh, four dollars and one penny. Okay, so we got four dollars and one penny going on right now with my good friend uh, J3. 425 stacking Silverman. Stacking Silverman got that 425. 450, Kayla. Kayla's getting bold. She wants that dime. So this dime will obviously come with one of the uh, limited edition series one silver husky stickers and just so you guys know i'm running out um I, I just ordered some new ones and the new ones are not going to look like the old ones right so this is literally all i have left uh, i'm down to my last seven uh one of them is going to the the giveaway from a moment ago and uh the other one is going to go to whoever wins this auction so these are the last ones and once they are retired they will not come back not in this form so this matte finish beautiful silver husky logo sticker will go excuse me will go to the winner we're at five dollars 550 with kayla Oof, this is a battle i need to get those little uh those little clips that uh what's his name always puts in <laughs> i gotta show you guys something holy holy cow really quickly Okay, look at this lady right here. She is twerking it. Yeah, that's the beach. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is funny. Anyways, welcome back, guys. We're back in the chat. We're at $7 now. We got $7 from Kayla. Kayla, you are awesome. Uh, yes, so that will be this and that and a little note and, uh, and a huge thank you to whoever wins this. Uh, we have seven dollars at Kayla or Kayla at seven dollars and uh, yeah so I don't know if you guys are collectors uh, you guys would know that this is uh, for a barber as far as barbers are concerned pretty great condition a typical barber normally is going to come from your LCS looking more like like that right very flat not a whole lot of, of detail to it almost in that call condition so this one's got great features to it you can see his his lips are very defined he looks potentially greek but okay so we got stacking silverman at eight dollars stacking silverman thank you for that awesome bid eight dollars stacking silverman so do we have a oh my gosh mad stacker mad stacker's got some guts here he's came in with 10. we started from a penny and Mad Stacker's at 10. Mad Stacker, you are awesome. So thank you for that bid, Mad Stacker. Do we have anybody to match Mad Stacker? Beat him by a penny. $10.01. Oh, Kayla came in at nine. Uh-oh. So you guys are seeing the chat, and I know there's a little bit. Ah, uh, Stamos, gotta be careful with that, buddy. <laughs> so we are not uh, we're not using tea bags. Um, 11, Kayla says 11, awesome. Okay, so do we have any counter bids at 11? Imagine finding barber dimes, barber quarters, barber, barber half dollars, metal detecting at an old barber shop. That would be hilarious. Somewhere in the world, there's somebody with a barber shop that they buried barber quarters, dimes, and halves in the backyard uh, just because, just on principle, maybe for good luck. That would be hilarious. So $12, Mad Stacker. Oh my gosh, man. Killing it, killing it with the bidding. That is awesome. All right, Mad Stacker. Do we have anybody else? Do we have 11? Mad Stacker. All right, I'm typing it in. Mad Stacker going once. Once. How do I spell once? Mad Stacker at 12. All right, going twice.
Type it in sold. Boom! Sold. <laughs> He's buying the sticker. There you're buying the sticker and, and this, this awesome, awesome barber. Thank you so much, Mad Stacker. You are the man. So I am going to... Uh, oh, Stacking Silverman at 13. Dude. Ah, I saw that. Look. So look, guys, that came in just after I typed sold. So... Congrats, Mad Stacker. You got the bid at 12. That is an awesome win. I do appreciate you. And Mad Stacker, just so you know, that is my very first auction that I've ever conducted on my channel. I don't know how often I plan on doing that, but that is, that is really cool. So you are getting one of these limited edition, uh, soon to be retired, Silver Husky stickers. Really awesome. Uh, and I do appreciate you, man. So let me write that down real quick. And we're going to put up that last one since this one got a lot of bids too. And this is from Great Britain. Really old, really hard to find. It's Queen Vicky. So, Mad Stacker. Barber. Awesome. Mad Stacker has my email. Yeah, Crafty Dragon, that lag does stink, right? So these these auctions, they, what they do is they're going to help me buy better internet service <laughs> can you write first auction item ever on the sticker I will buddy I'll write that on the sticker that'd be it is true that's the best man you're, you're awesome so I appreciate you uh, stacking silver man I think I'm a little behind yeah maybe uh, that's why I try to give a little bit of time on that you know going once going twice and sold I gave about a good 30 seconds there so I'm gonna do that same thing this time uh, be careful with friends and family PayPal use goods and service uh, you can write, okay, congratulations, Mad Stacker. Okay, good. All right, nice time. Crappy Tim says, nice time. Thank you. So, this one, Queen Vicky, a little bit aged, right? We got Victoria, uh, De Graf, Frit, Regina, Fid, Def, right? Whatever that means, right? So that is something British. And I, I, the only acronyms I know are in, in military. So, um, let's see, Marty. Marty is nuts about digging and coins. Uh, I appreciate you being in the chat, man. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before, so thank you so much for stopping by. You're awesome. Uh, I only want 5G on my phone to win Huskies auctions. <laughs> Nick S., awesome, man. Yeah, it's not just on your end, though. My end is kind of kind of slow, too. So these are since this is my very first auction day, and again, this is one of, one of two, right? I did the first one. Uh, Mad Stacker won this super awesome, really beautiful barber. That's going to go in his collection. I do appreciate you for, for getting that. That's great. And, uh, and now this one, right, from Great Britain, from our cousins from across the pond. Uh, this one is, let's flip her over. Flip the queen over. Three pence, 1897. And it is silver, right? Uh, let's get that focus. Three pence. You can see there's a lot of detail there. So that is a very good looking coin for being over 120, 123 years old. One, two, three. All right. So 123 year old coin. It is beautiful. And we are, she is the Empress of India. That's what, that's what this says. Man. See, this is why it pays to have David Carlisle in the chat because this guy is a book of knowledge. I appreciate you, David Carlisle. Thank you for being in the chat you're awesome uh, okay so for this one we will start at one penny Numa stacking says it is 50% silver right these older coins uh, this one comes in at 50% silver so do we have one penny any takers for one penny Kayla thank you so much for stopping in the chat I really do appreciate you Kayla comes in all the time to my chat she is my number one fan and I do appreciate her being here. So we'll see you real soon, Kayla. Have a good one. Uh, but yeah, a penny. Anybody want this 50%, 123-year-old, three pence coin from Great Britain? I'll give you, I'll give you three pants for your pence. <laughs> okay, we got six. Is that six pennies? I don't know if that's six pennies or six dollars. We got five cents. We got Mad Stacker at, I'm going to call it six cents, right? Mad Stacker's at six cents. All right, so anybody, anybody at seven cents? Do we have anybody? I know you guys think I'm crazy. Why is he auctioning off silver? 
for pennies. Yeah, that's because I'm just getting started. So it makes it fun. That way anybody can get in and maybe you get a good deal. I think it'd be pretty awesome. 50 cents. Stacking Silverman comes in at 50 cents. Have a good one, everyone. I have to return to work. Dark Green Marine, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping in the chat. And and you are awesome. Oh, Mad Stacker said dollars, bro. So Mad Stacker is betting six dollars. So thank you so much, Mad Stacker, for a six dollar bid. Uh, J3 is coming in at five dollars. So okay, so I'm gonna show you guys just so you guys see what I'm seeing. Mad Stacker says dollars, bro. Mad Stacker doesn't deal in pennies, so I don't do this this little penny stuff. But hey, I want to give everybody a chance to win too. So uh, thank you, Mad Stacker, for the five dollar bid. Mad Stacker says six dollars. Uh, yeah, I think you're. Oh, sorry, six dollars. <laughs> he did bet six dollars. Okay, so the bid of six dollars. Do we have anybody that could beat uh, six dollars on that bid? And real quick, I want to show you guys. Uh, this guy's going fishing, right? Twerking girl, you know she she twerks hard for her money. Uh, so hard for it, honey, and she twerks hard for her money, so you better treat her right. But this guy's going fishing, so that's that's kind of awesome. See you, dude. Good luck fishing. Now let's get back to this. All right. Uh, Denise Jameson says, see you later tonight, the Dark Green Marine, maybe? Uh, I think there's probably going to be an auction going on tonight. <laughs> so that would be awesome. J3 says, $6 and one penny. I hoard pennies. They're made of copper. Good stuff, man. I want to go fishing there. Stack and Silverman, you would love it fishing here. There's all kinds of stuff, and there's always really pretty yachts that go by, too. So uh, that would be awesome. It's 925 sterling silver. Okay, Numa Stacking says this is a 925 sterling coin. And for some reason, I want to believe that more than it being 50%, because I don't know that... Uh, Great Britain really dealt much with 50% that far, that long ago. Let's go. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, let's go. Let's Google this, right? Let's all, let's go on a real quick trip and Google this. This is a 1897. 1897, uh, three pence. And let's see what we got. I like to go on Numista. And here's what we're looking at, guys. This is the the queen, right? And it is 925 as I read it right there. Uh, and just so, you know, just to be fair, let's give everybody a good idea um, of the mintage. 1897. 1897. Uh, I think that's the mintage, right? 9,388. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right. Oh, here we go. 1897. Four million of them, right? So in condition, here you go. This is an extra fine as much as $9, right? So again, just to be fair to you guys, we want to make sure that we're giving you guys a good shot at these, uh, these coins uh, at a fair price. So let's go back to the, see, this is me. Uh, I just, I'm totally about doing things the right way and doing things fair. Um, all right, so here we go. 925 silver is about uh, 0 0.05 of an ounce. 925 is probably right. Silver Husky, does your coin store have any Scotland or Greenland or some other country silver coins I would like maybe uh, we could do a trade through email? You know, I'm not too sure. Uh, they may. I'd have to go look and see what they have. Uh, wow, mega laggy. Uh, come on. Not sure why it's so laggy. Okay, so the last bid I had was from Mad Stacker for $6. Do we have anything above? Oh, we got six dollars and one penny. That's J3. Okay, so J3 at six dollars and one penny. Let's do this. J3 at six dollars and one penny. Going once. I give a little bit of time for people to, to be able to type in stuff, right? That's awesome. I think that is, and obviously this one will come with its own sticker as well. So if you win it, you're winning a sticker too. Uh, again, limited edition. These are going out of style. Uh, <laughs> out of production, not out of style. That's an eternal image right there. That's going to last for, for centuries, right? For, for many, many moons. 
Okay, 650, Stacking Silverman. Awesome, we got Stacking Silverman at 650. Very nice bid, coming in strong. Much appreciated. Stacking Silverman, I think he wants a sticker. He's buying the sticker, which is awesome. So, this is, again, Miss Queenie. Queen Victoria, Vicky, Vicky from the block, right? She's still Vicky from the block. All right, so we got, uh-oh, J3 at 651. Yeah, shipping will be included. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Unless it's like out of the country, I'm not too worried about shipping. So it's all good and fun, right? I'm, I'm totally cool with that. So Stacking Silverman at 675. Go Stacking Silverman. I can't wait for my almost kilo of foreign silver. Wow. Where did you buy that from Florida? I'll tell you, my, my coin guy will probably sell you some stuff like that. He'll sell you by the kilo. He's got a ton. Uh, he's actually got so much cool stuff right now, and he's got some other cool stuff coming in. Um, big, big stuff too. Not just like kilos, 100, 100 ounce, things like that. Big, big stuff. So anyways, yeah, so we have Stack and Silverman at 675. Let me write that in. Oh, 677. Man, J3 is at it. J3, you're good, man. So we'll put J3 at 677. Boom. Beautiful. Love that crown. Hi, Drag Dad. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Drag Dad. If you're just popping into the chat right now, we literally just did my very first auction. Stacking Silverman coming in at 680. Shipping to Australia is 17 bucks. Four nines fine silver for you. I would do that because you're my boy. You're my buddy. Four nines. So whatever you win it at, that's what you get it at. I don't care if I take a take a bath on the on the price. That's okay. Why? Because I love you. You're good people. Stacking Silverman at six dollars and eighty cents. Hi, drag dad. How are things up in that neck of the woods in the Nova area? Hi, drag. I do miss it. Haven't been back in a long time. But let's see, 681. Oh my gosh, J3. This is a battle of the pennies. 681. J3. Stacking Silverman. Will he retake his crown? Shipping to Canada is $26. How the heck is it $26 if you guys are just right over the border? I don't understand that. Uh, yeah, traffic y sounds about right. Oh, look, there's our, our twerking friend. Guys, if you missed it earlier, this lady right here was like totally twerking on her man. It was hilarious, um, and we caught it on camera. So, yeah, that's why you don't want to miss a moment, right? You can always go back and, and review it, but it was pretty funny. Just for a moment, she was twerking. It was great. This is the live camera at Deerfield Beach. Very funny stuff. I got 686 on J3. Good stuff. I'm not telling LOL because I'm addicted to foreign silver. <laughs> Maybe when I move to Florida, I'll tell you. When I see foreign silver, I buy it right away. I have to be careful how much I buy. Archaeology, Mikey, it's all good, man. I tr I'm totally cool with that. Stacking Silverman coming in at 690. Uh, very, very cool. Awesome. Uh, taxes plus handling charge between UPS and Canada. That is that is a lot. But Dennis, you know what? It'd be worth it. I'm okay with that. So if you want to bid, Dennis, whatever your buy price is, uh, that's totally fine with me. You can have it at that price. So I, I'm good like that, at least for the first auction, right? This is my first one. So I'm totally fine with just having fun with you guys. Stacking Silverman at $7. Woo! Coming in strong. Coming in strong with $7 for the three pence. Guys, this is a 123-year-old coin. 123 years old. And look at that crown. Man, don't you just want to put that on your head and just feel like royalty? You think about a 123-year-old coin from England. What would that coin have been through in its lifetime? Where has it been? What has it seen? You know, what places has it traveled to? Obviously, now it's in Florida, and pretty soon it's going to go to wherever you are, whoever the winner is. Right now, we got J3 at seven and one penny, seven oh one. Um, so. Right now we have this traveling to somewhere else from Florida, but where has this thing been? This thing has been all over the world. Once upon a time, mined out of the ground, refined in England, and turned into a coin. Maybe it's been to India. I don't know, because uh, David Carlyle tells us that that's what that 
at the bottom means uh, the Indian Empress, right? Imperial India, something like that. She is the Empress of India. Silver Stallion, how you doing, buddy? This is our first auction. Actually, this is uh, item number two of our first auction ever. We're only doing two items today, just for the fun of it. But we do have uh, a couple of bids. Stack and Silverman coming in at $7.10, coming in with a strong bid. And yeah, we are bid bidding in the pennies right now. Uh, I mail coins to US for $1.58 in a thank you card. Huh. Smart man. I need to get a thank you card then. And that would be cool, right? Because obviously I am thankful to you guys for bidding. So it would be a thank you card and I can ship for cheaper. So, um, yeah, looks like Queen Victoria. It is Queen Vicky, right? Uh, she's the Empress of India at the time. India was under their rule. So, again, a lot of history going on here. $7.20. Hydrag Dad's coming in with a new bid. All right, guys, we got a new bidder. We got three in the game. $7.12. Can't hack it. Seven. Oh, $7.21. He got you beat. J3 ahead of Hydrag Dad. That's cool stuff. We got three people in the fight. Newman stacking. India Impress. India Impress. Maybe it's impressive. <laughs> King Sniper, how's it going, man? King Sniper, good to see you. Welcome to the chat. Stacking Silverman's coming in even stronger with a 750 bid. Stacking Silverman. That guy's after it. He is He is going to get it. He is really after that. So let me stage this up real quick like that so you guys can see her. Uh, guys, earlier in the chat, if you weren't here, uh, we did find a W quarter. I did a little bit of quarter hunting, and we found a Lowell 2019 W. This is the second W I've ever found. Not that I've really coin roll hunted too much for Ws, but I thought that was a pretty cool find. Uh, and I had said if I find a second W, uh, that I will send it out to one lucky winner in the chat. I may still do something special at the end, just because this is such an awesome day and you guys are great. I do appreciate having you guys. We have 780 stacking Silverman. That is awesome. So 780. Oh, 781. See, as I'm typing this, I can't even keep up with you guys. So J3 at 781. And don't forget, guys, you guys are also getting a sticker. <laughs> Stacky Silverman at eight bucks. I can't even type that in. Hey, Little Silver Husky, how you doing? Say hi to the chat. Hi. Hi. Guess what they're bidding on? You know, uh, do you even know what that is? No. No? That is a foreign coin. It is from Great Britain. It is 123 years old. That's a little older than Daddy, huh? That's a little, that's a lot. That's a lot of Thank How you. How much so is this generous. one worth? How $8 and one penny. $9 stack in silver mint. Guys, you like that one? That is that is a little silver husky's uh, probably his favorite round. This is just a round. This isn't um this isn't a a coin. I know, but how old is it? Um probably not that old. It's I don't know, privately minted. Nine dollars and one penny, J three is added. I don't think anybody can can compete with that. He just keeps putting one penny. He's gonna he's gonna smack somebody down. Where is Silver Husky located? Silver Husky is located in South Florida for now at least. We're looking to move in the coming months to the Carolinas. So for now, this will be coming from South Florida, where it's nice and sunny with beautiful beaches, uh, lots of great people, lots of warm weather. You can even go to the beach in the middle of December, go for a swim, and the water is warmer than the air, which is awesome. Stacking Silverman says $925. Just kidding. $9.25. Thank you so much. Couch Collectibles just posted a video on Canadian coins if you want to watch it later after the stream. Yeah, I might do that. So I like Couch Collectibles stuff. He's got pretty cool uh, info, pretty cool insight as well. Uh, good stuff. So 926 J3 is relentless. Oh, he's after you guys. J3, I don't know if we've officially met. My name is Silver Husky, and I'm very, very glad to have you in the chat. Uh, spicing things up. Look at that, 950 Stacking Silverman. Stacking Silverman's coming in strong. Got a dip. Hi, Drag Dad. Thank you so much for coming in. It was so great seeing you. Please say hi to the family. Uh, you, got, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you. 951. $951, says J3. I know you mean $9.51, so I'll take it for $9.51. This is U.S. dollars for those of you guys from uh, outside of the country. Uh, we do appreciate having everybody in the chat. King, uh, King Sniper says, Silver Husky, 
Can you do cash? Hmm. So to do cash, I would have to receive the cash first. Um, and if you're mailing it in the U.S., it's probably a lot easier than if you were mailing it from outside of the country. Uh, but I do Cash App, and I do um, what, what else do I do? I do Cash App, and I do PayPal. So either one of those two is is pretty pretty easy to do. Uh, he wants to show you this one. We have a flowing hair. Uh, just kidding. This is a round. It is not a a coin, but it is gorgeous, right? So here. It's there we go. Oh. Back to this one. Ten dollars. Ten dollars stuck in silver. Ten and one penny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you're near Fort Myers or Leesburg, Florida, maybe we can do a meetup when I move to the coin store. When I move at the coin store, I told you about the foreign silver. Okay, so Fort Myers is about two hours from me, and me and the family we do usually go there once or twice a year. I don't think we're going to go there before we move, though. We're talking about going to the Keys, visiting uh, you know some friends out there, and doing some wave runner stuff. You know, some water fun, maybe some snorkeling and diving. Little Silver Husky, as small as he is, that kid dives. That kid goes way underwater. So we're going to real quickly. Um, maybe six feet. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's uh check this out. Did you imagine having to go fishing with a face mask on? Believe it or not, this guy has a face mask on. He just turned his head a little bit and can't really see it, but totally did see. Oh, maybe maybe zoom in on him. That's not me, guys. That's the the camera people. So we got J three at ten dollars and one penny. All right, stacking Silverman is is out. He says, "Well, you win, J three. Miss Silverman said I can't pay more than twelve bucks." All right, that's it, guys. So we have J3 at 10.01. Let me type that in. J3. Oh, $12. There we go. So we got Stacking Silverman. And J3 is 12.01. Yeah, he's relentless. He wants that sticker. J3 at 12.01. Man, that's a bad beat. You know, if you play poker and you got a really good hand and then you get beat by somebody else who's got a really good, slightly better hand, that's called a bad beat. And that that's that's a bad beat. So we got going once. Going once. Hey, what's happening? I Jones Coins, what's going on, buddy? We have a small auction. Sorry, I was just showing these guys the beach because I just love the beach. I want to go to the beach. I think I'm going to go this weekend. I uh, want to go today because it's today. really warm today. It is a nice day. I Jones, we have an auction happening right now. We're auctioning off this 1897 sterling silver three pence from Great Britain with Queen Vicky on her. Let me show you this side real quick. There's Queen Vicky. And the current bid, current bid is twelve dollars and one cents to J three, uh, and yeah, we're just uh, just going twice. We're gonna say going twice. J three is relentless. He's got that baseball bat. He's like, we're going at it. I'm here. To, I'm here for fun. I'm here to 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 win. All right, going twice. And typing in sold. Nope. 50 euro to make Pappy sure. I'm not sure what that means, Stamos. Um, uh, we're going in dollars, and I, I don't really know the conversion rate, but I think 50 euros is a whole lot more. Uh, but what we will do uh, is we will hit sold, and we are sold to J3 for $12.01. J3, reach out to me on email. It is Silver Husky. Talking about the beach, I have just came back from there yesterday. Gmail.com. Are you reading that? Yeah. Where did you see that? All right. Horse flies on the beach. You were fishing? Cool. I just came back from there yesterday. I was. Did you catch anything, Elton? Elton Jones? So there's my email, uh, J3, if you don't mind, just send me an email and I will send you some uh, payment information. I guess I didn't really plan that out We correctly. just went fishing like <laughs> two days ago. J3 wins the three pence. So we went fishing at Sunday? Where did we go? We went to... Under the bridge. Under the bridge. We did the intercoastal and did we catch anything? We didn't go under the pier. We went under the bridge that's right next to the pier. Yes, there was the bridge right next to the pier, and we did okay, right? We caught we caught some stuff, so that was kind of so, neat. So these are going to J three. 
you go right after after you cross the bridge you go right 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 and then left right awesome guys okay so before we end the stream we're gonna do a little giveaway right just because you guys are awesome and I appreciate you guys I can give you 50 euro to find the female husky to make pappies I think you mean puppies uh, <laughs> Yeah, Stamos, I'm, I'm married already, so I got my, my Mrs. Husky. She's amazing, and uh, we got tons of puppies. Diamond I'm, Husky. Yeah, we call her Diamond Husky because she's a diamond in the no, not diamond in the rough. She's a diamond in the, in the finished product. She's you're, amazing. What uh, am I? Which other one? than my name, you're Crown Husky. I'm Crown Husky. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's husky. see what we got. Uh, let's see, I had, I had catch some spots and some other fish. That's awesome. Okay, Silver Stallion says congratulations. Awesome. Okay, so this one was the one that we found during the during the live coin roll hunting, and uh, and it's a W quarter. And I don't know necessarily the value on this one, uh, but I do know that hey, we found it. You found it with me, and it is a W from 2019. So this will go to somebody in the chat. Denise Jameson says goodbye for now. Catch you next time. I watch a lot of Coin Karma. I'm a retired 80-year-old coin collector. That's awesome. Or Dennis. Why am I calling you Denise? I'm so sorry, man. Dennis Jameson. <laughs> Guys, I have trouble reading from a distance for some time, so like my computer screen is on the other side of, of where I'm standing with the camera. So at an angle, it looked like Denise, and I apologize. Please well, forgive me. it's not that far. You're about two feet away. Okay. So Little Silver Husky's calling me out saying my vision should be better. Maybe I need glasses. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, congratulations, J3, on the win. And congratulations, Mad Stacker, for the previous win. He won a barber. Let me show you guys that one. It is a beautiful, beautiful 1914 with great, not just great gold toning, but great definition to it. So beautiful coin. All right, so somebody going to win this. Too bad uh, it's not a 1916 D Mercury dime. Yeah, and I, yes, was, yeah, I think Ink Scars found that one. Uh, so this one is going to go to somebody in chat. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to make this easy, right? I like the pick a number game. So we're going to pick a number. I'm not going to tell you the range, but I will write can I down. Do the range? Mm, you can whisper the range into my ear so that nobody else hears it. La, 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 la. Pick a different range. Okay. Silver Husky, I'm staying out of this one because I found a 2019. Uh, W low quarter in pocket change and want someone else to win it. Archaeology Mikey, that's very generous of you. I do appreciate that. Um, but you don't have to, right? That's fair game for anyone. Uh, so this one is going to be, let me do let me do a range of, uh, let's do it. You want to do a narrow range so that somebody wins it? Or should we do a huge range? I think we should do like a word, like like something that we should do like like a word or number range oh, we're doing or number letter range. range here look we'll do this number range okay that sounds good letter range. okay so we're gonna do this number range uh, and here's what way it's gonna go I'm gonna look for the uh, the first person to get the number correct when I type it in into the chat Mason's coins and hobbies good to see you that's a little seashell, but you're not focusing on it. You gotta. There's too much light. There we go. Yeah. I think we have a way bigger one. It's probably like. Go get it. This big. Go get it. Okay. All right. He's gonna go get another seashell to show you guys. We have lots of shells that we find here in Florida. Okay. So Mason Coins and Hobby don't don't doesn't have a W quarter. So hopefully you can win one today. That would be kind of awesome. Uh, and this one's up for grabs right now. So here is the range. When you see it in the chat, just type it in. And, uh, and yeah, you have a chance to win this W quarter. Type in your one guess, guys, one guess. And here it comes. All right, we have 85, 58, 77, 66, 80, 73, 78. Oh, I see multiple guesses. 
from Marty is nuts uh, about digging about digging in coins. So guys, one guess, silver stallion, only one guess, guys. So I'm gonna take your first guess as oh my goodness, these seashells coming out of nowhere. Yeah, so yeah, these are the that's a horse conch. This is a, I think this one's called an opal or something like that. Uh, olive, maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't see the right response. I don't see the right answer. Cool clamshell. All right, you can take those ones back. Thank you so much. It's a little show and tell we got going on right now. Show and tell. Show and tell of my silver. Coins and shells. Oh, hold up, guys. We got twerking lady. Look at she's twerking again. She's at it. Where? See, she's twerking. She's going at it. She's twerking, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. She twerks hard for her money, guys. So hard for it, honey. She twerks hard for her money, so you better treat her right. Okay, so back to it. Um, I didn't see the number. No, there. Nobody said it. Let's. Do okay, it again. so so we got to do a different one then. So the number was. Oh, let me look again. Who is it? Oh, nope. Somebody did get it. Where? Right there. Look, right there. Okay, so the number was 81. There's the range, 70 to 100. The number was 81. 80. And I have, oh. by, by my view, I have Crafty Dragon, who only did one guess and said 81. So Crafty Dragon, you win. Uh, you win the, the quarter. Silver Husky, 12. I'm going to send my, my Gmail account. And all you have to do is send me an email with your contact info, and you will get the prize. Uh, you get the awesome, awesome Lowell Quarter. Thank you so much, Crafty Dragon, for playing. With that is going to come one of the very last stickers. Not too many left. Right? I only have a few, so I can't do any sticker trades right now, guys, because I'm down to the... This is me giving away... One, two, three, four now. So let me write that down. I gotta write. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I killed it. Crafty Dragon. I'm gonna write down Crafty Dragon for the W. W mint mark. That's super awesome, guys. So I really appreciate you guys. Uh, OMG, thank you, my first W. That's cool, man. Well, I'm glad you won. I'm glad. I like it when people win something cool for the first time. That's really neat. What's that? Can I do the Star Wars music to show this? Yeah, you can do the Star Wars music. So he wants to show you guys something one last time. Go ahead. Cool stamp that will be coming on the uh, the envelope. <laughs> so we just got some stamps in, guys. But anyways, guys, please don't forget to hit like on the way out. Uh, Stamos, no, I don't have any guineas. Um, I do appreciate all of you guys for stopping by. You guys are awesome. You guys make this so much fun. And I I hope to do keep doing these more and more for the, for the weeks and months to come. Uh, maybe another auction here or there. Just a little stuff here and there because I don't like to do... I don't think I want to do a whole show for an auction. I think that's a little much, but at least for me because I don't have enough... Uh, I don't know. I don't have enough attention span for that. But you guys are awesome. Look forward to seeing you guys all real soon. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Can you say bye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Goodbye. Goodbye.